The Bangsamoro adds additional territory in Cotabato with a yes vote winning in 63 out of 67 barangays that petitioned to join the new region. This was based on the final unofficial results monitored by the United Bangsamoro Party of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front or MILF. The Commission on Elections is expected to start canvassing the votes in Manila on Friday to make the results official. The affirmative vote won in all barangays in Midsayap, Pigkawayan, Kabakan, and Carmen. It also won in 22 barangays in Pikit and in 2 barangays in Alyosan. All these barangays, as well as Cotabato City, will join the provinces of the current autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao to establish a new autonomous region with wider powers and control over resources. It will be called the Bangsamoro Region in Muslim Mindanao, or BARMM. The Manila Electric Company, or Meralco, will increase electric rates by 58 cents per kilowatt hour in February. The upward adjustment brings the overall rate to 10.41 pesos per kilowatt hour for households consuming 200 kilowatt hours. For households consuming 500 kilowatt hours, the increase would be as high as 284 pesos. Meralco attributes the hike to higher charges from power plants. Meralco expects higher consumption in the coming months as the summer season approaches. House Appropriations Committee Chairman Orlando Andaya accuses Budget Secretary Benjamin Jokno of trying to bribe lawmakers with 40 billion pesos in government savings to allow a 75 billion insertion in the proposed public works budget for 2019. Andaya says Jokno supposedly wanted to use the 40 billion pesos as hush money. The House did not accept the alleged bribe. Andaya says Speaker Gloria Macapagal Arroyo warned him against doing so. Jokno calls Andaya's accusation absolutely false. Andaya earlier accused Jokno of corruption. He previously linked Jokno to Arimar Construction, a firm allegedly using dummy contractors to corner big ticket government projects in Sorsogon. Jokno's in laws are among the executives of Arimar Construction. Actress Anne Curtis calls on the existing law on children in conflict with the law to be properly implemented. Curtis makes the statement at a UNICEF event where she was formally announced as National Goodwill Ambassador. I've learned that if the current laws are to be fully implemented, there would be no real need to lower the age. But I also feel that with children, and I believe that you can't just focus on one issue. There is still so much that should be done. This comes as the Philippine Congress moves forward with plans to lower the minimum age of criminal responsibility from 12 to 15 years old. 